What's up Resto Mods? We're here today to talk to you about brakes. This is our 69 Dodge Charger giveaway car, RM13. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today is upgrading the front disc brakes. As you can see, this car already had a pretty nice Willwood disc brake kit on it. Nothing wrong with these brakes. It's got a nice four piston caliper and uh, kind of a two piece hub design and billet hub here. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it. These brakes do a great job of stopping. We don't have any issues with them, but we want a little more stopping power. It's a big car. It's got a lot of power. We wanna do burnouts, so the better the front brakes, the better the burnouts are gonna be. We're just gonna to talk to you a little bit about the upgrade we're doing. Like I said before, this is a good brake kit, not even really an entry level. This is kind of a middle of the road brake kit, but we wanted to get an even bigger, even better setup. So what we ended up doing is upgrading to this big six piston caliper. For those of you who aren't familiar, uh, these pistons here on the inside apply more clamping force. So having more of them is better, obviously. And uh, this caliper design is a little bit newer, a little bit more efficient, and it's just gonna do a better job of slowing this car down. As you can see, there's just a comparable size difference between the four pistons and the six pistons. And on top of that, we're doing a bigger rotor as well. So we're gonna upgrade a little bit. This is a 12.88 rotor, almost 13 inches. Uh, this should clear our wheels just fine and just have a little bit more surface area for better braking. And these come with uh, Willwood's E-coat on them. So they have this nice protective finish. This contact portion will be uh, burned off during the bed-in procedure. So you'll still see a, a raw finish like that, but it's nice to have this coating to protect them during shipping. It saves them from any oxidation or anything. And this is just a great kit. Uh, you can see it's all inclusive, has all the components you want, brake pads, even the lines. Since we already have a Willwood kit, there's gonna be some of the stuff, possibly the lines that we can reuse. As always, go through your instructions. Assembly instructions are great with Willwood. We love working with this company. This car's actually got Willwoods on the back too, um, but we're gonna leave those. They're plenty good for the back brakes. We just wanted to throw some bigger, badder brakes at the front. As always, we wanna make your guys' 69 Charger a little bit better. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Follow along. All right guys, so we wrapped up the install on the front brake kit on our 69 Dodge Charger. Upgraded the calipers, we now got the six pistons on there, a little bit bigger rotor as well. So the only last step right now is we're gonna do the pad bed-in procedure as per Willwood's instructions. This thing is looking much better, it's gonna stop much better. And if you have any desire to upgrade your brakes or to get some real high performance brakes on your car, make sure you check out willwood.com. They have all kinds of applications and they're real thorough with their instructions and something simple, but a big difference that it's gonna make in your car. And hope you guys like it. As always, get entered to win this 69 Dodge Charger at restomods.com. <laughs>